Howdy Moz fans and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about some data and tools fueled methodologies to acquire more and better links. And in fact, some links that you may not have been able to find in other ways. So I'll start by saying, what, what, it, what does it mean to have a better link? Well, I, I mean really three things. A, editorially given. Editorially given. And by that I mean not a link that you go uh, buy, not a link that you go sort of acquire or leave on someone's site unbeknownst to them or, uh, you know, get listed in a directory. I mean an editorially given link in that the person who is giving the link runs the website or at least the page where it's being given from and they intended to link to you and want to link to you and it's out of no other desire other than to share your site or the content that you have, the work that you are doing, they have a relationship with you, they like you, they want to recommend you, editorially given. B, from a high quality, trusted, and trafficked, well-trafficked website. Something that actually might get you clicks in addition to providing link value from a, from a search ranking perspective. And C, you've actually got a half decent shot at getting that link. If I'm just showing you link methodologies that are gonna show you, oh yeah, it'd be real nice to get a link on that whitehouse.gov page, it's not gonna happen, man, right? Like, bad news, that's gonna be a tough one. But, but, these three, if we, if we aim for these three in particular, aim for a decent shot at getting it, I think, uh, I think we get some good ones out of this. So number one, method, method number one, follower outreach. Essentially, the, the practice of outreach for links, right? Reaching out to someone and saying, hey, you know, we have this uh, piece of content you might like, or we have this uh, potential relationship we could build, or hey, I noticed that you do some things that are interesting and maybe we could have some overlap here. Perhaps I could contribute in some way to something that you're doing. Cool, works a lot of the time, but it's, it, you know, it's very hit or miss, except Except that the odds go way higher, way in your favor, if you actually have a relationship, a pre-existing knowledge of one another, and a mutual like and respect situation. And that's why outreach to followers, to people who actually already know you and like you, is way more effective. So this is follower wonk. You could, you could use a tool of your choice. You might do uh, find people on plus or um, some of the other social uh, metrics tools. But, Follow wonk, I can go right in here and on the sort followers tab, right, once I've uh, logged in, I can sort my followers and say, show me a list of them, and then I can export to CSV. And the only trick, once I export to CSV, I'm looking for people with high social authority who have websites that I might want to do outreach to. And this is such a simple thing. If you want, you can get a little fancier. You can do things like uh, put data in here, but you know, add a column and do use uh, Richard Baxter's, um, uh, you know, Moz, Mozscape um, plugin so that you can filter by, uh, you know, domain authority of the website that's in their bio, or you could, uh, and, and only outreach to people who haven't already linked to you. But generally speaking, I found that even if somebody's linking to from one page, doing outreach to them, getting that second link, uh, reaching out to folks, especially where, when you've targeted some of these people, this, this is huge value. I've seen outreach of this kind work tremendously well, especially because since they already know you, right, this guy and some dude in Marketing Gal, like, they're all following me. They're following my account. That means they care about what I have to say. So if I outreach them and they say, oh yeah, I checked out, I know something about them too. I've got their bio. I know what site they represent. I know who they are, right? I can interact with them on Twitter. This works wonderfully. This is one of my, my favorite, favorite outreach methodologies. Starts with social. Method two, just discovered competition. So uh, many of you are probably already aware, but in Open Site Explorer, there's this new tab called Just Discovered Links, far oh, way over on the right. It's technically in beta, but it gets a lot of great links. It surfaces a lot of great links that you know, are pointing to your website or to a competitor's website. This is the key. What I want you to do is go plug in a competitor, start with just one, one of your competitor's websites, go over to the Just Discovered tab, and take a look at what people are writing about them and linking to them right now. And I try and go for direct competitors, the kind of competitors where it seems like a surprise if an editorial like a news publication or a blogger or someone in the field, an industry thought leader, 
writes about them, but doesn't write about you. That's, that's always like, oh, well, if you're going to mention one, you should mention several. This is where the key comes in because you go here and you look at stuff that was literally just published in the last few hours or couple of days, and then you do the outreach right then. You could, you could do it through commenting and you know just saying something about yourself like, hey, I, I'm not going to link drop because I don't want to be spammy, but um, if you haven't already checked out Moz, we're a competitor to you know, site XYZ and uh, you know, we'd love to have, we'd love to connect and, and follow up. Maybe you'd be interested in writing a story about some of the stuff that we're doing. I'd be happy to fill you in. Uh, reach out to me at Rand at Moz. Something like that. Or you could go find their email contact information if you don't want to make it public in the comments and reach out in that way. The trick is, because these things have just been written, just been published, your outreach attempts go way higher. And you can look at domain authority, right? It's sort of, you can sort an order of domain authority. So you can sort of look at and say, oh yeah, you know, I don't, I don't want to reach out to that guy, but yes, yes, yes. Ideal. Methodology number three. Why you no link? Why? Show you what I'm talking about. So this is, this is Fresh Web Explorer. You could use uh, another service. You could use um, a mention.net. And by the way, for, you know, I don't mean to say that Open Site Explorer is the only way to do this. You could use um, uh, Majestic or something like that for this, this same thing, right? If you're not a Moz subscriber. But assuming you are, all three of these are part of your subscription. So Fresh Web Explorer, I can go in and search for, this is key, right? So, so I know the, the Fresh Web Explorer search query, it's sort of like the Yahoo of old where you do like very sophisticated uh, links types of searches. So make sure you're familiar with all the modifiers. But this one in particular I love. It's Moz, my brand name, minus rd colon moz.com. Right? And there's a, there's a space in between here, but, but no space otherwise. The reason this works so well is because I'm essentially saying, show me people who have mentioned my brand name, Moz, but are not linking to any page on my site. And show me the ones that have just done that, right? Because this is uh, Fresh Web Explorer, so it's going to show me recent stuff. And then if I want, I can click on a specific day or those kinds of things. I can export the CSV uh, over here. But basically, I look at these and I go, huh, interesting. OK, so this is four days old. They mentioned Moz, but they didn't link to us. This is, man, that's a, that's a good reasonable feed authority. You can get domain authority as well uh, in the CSV. Man, I should, I should reach out to them. That, that, that reporter, that blogger, that writer, that person who owns that website, why did they talk about me and not link to my site? It tends to be the case that this is just oversight. And if you just reach out and are like, hey, I love that you covered us, really appreciate it. By the way, you noticed you didn't link. Uh, was that intentional or you know, could we get a link back? Boom, boom. It's just super easy, high quality link building right off the bat. These three methodologies will all help you with those. And for those of you who are doing link building on a regular basis, I love this format. Whether you use our tools or someone else's, this is a great way to go. All right, everyone, take care.